Today's event is Therapeutics Manchester. It's the first time that the AOP have, have run this event in this location. The aim is to upskill practitioners on things that are currently ongoing in the therapeutics area and where the future may be heading. What can we do when the vision is completely gone? So we talked about how we can keep rods and cones going, long, um, going for longer, but what happens when they've completely disappeared? It's been great. Um, it's been really interesting, a uh, really diverse set of lectures. Yeah, it's been brilliant, actually. Um, having done um, part of the independent prescribing course already, it's a really good chance to sort of have a refresher in how actually be using these skills in practice. You've got to be asking yourself, well, should I be you know, jumping in and trying to treat this at this stage before it's done damage, before the glands have atrophied and died and before you know, we're, we're firefighting it even more? And the answer is kind of yes, really. first session today was with Kevin Wallace and he was exploring how therapeutics could potentially put practitioners at risk. In an emergency, so we've got the italics at the top, you can sell or supply these ones there is no definition of what an emergency is, so it's a bit grey, use your judgement, you just want to take decent notes of that, of why you did it, explain your work essentially, and that would never be a problem. And you're not, not going to poison anybody with chloramphenicol, so it's not going to be a great issue. It was a really, really useful lecture for non-IP practitioners like myself. It reminded me about record keeping and listening to what the patient's telling you, looking at what is presented in front of you and how best to manage it. It's been really interesting, um, lots of discussion points, um, lots of new things to learn. Nice to know I'm doing things in the right way as well. The peer discussion was great, I like the little twist in all the cases, I think it's going to be one thing and really changing your management when it's been something else. I enjoyed Leon's lecture this morning as well on uh, what's hot in glaucoma. The things that to look out for is the rogue kinase inhibitor, which is a rock inhibitor. It's rumoured um, to, or promised, to lower your pressure by increasing your trabecular mesh outflow, by lowering your episcleral venous pressure, uh, by reducing some of the aqueous production and offer some neuroprotection. I mean, I think a marketing person has been involved because that clearly is the wish list of every single glaucoma surgeon. And apparently we have a drug that promised to do everything. We were uh, running a number of workshops throughout the day, um, lacrimal syringing, and also looking at uh, autofluorescence techniques and also retinal abnormalities, which cases to refer and not to refer. I really enjoyed the lacrimal syringing workshop. Um, uh, obviously uh, an experience, uh, both doing and uh, uh, being on the receiving end. So today I'm running workshops on lacrimal syringing, uh, which is a procedure that can be done easily by optometrists in practice, but to date is not something that's, that's routinely done. And I think probably one of the main reasons for that is a little bit of fear of doing the procedure. It's a little bit more invasive than the typical things we would do in optometric practice. Uh, so the workshop today is really about demonstrating to optometrists that it's something that they're all capable of doing and uh, about breaking down that fear and that barrier that people have in their, in their heads about it. It's hugely reassuring to do the procedure, but also an important aspect of the workshop is the practitioners acting as the patient, so they get to experience it from both sides. And I think that's very valuable when you go to do the procedure to be able to educate the patient as to what their experience of that procedure is likely to be. Yeah, it's been fantastic. Um, I'm going to start my IP course soon, so I think this is really ideal for someone like me who's going to start in a couple of months' time and sort of knows what to expect going forward. Therapeutics London uh, takes place as a two-day event in September 23rd and 24th. Therapeutics London will deliver in excess of 15 CET points, covering all therapeutics competencies. So if you're interested in attending Therapeutics London in September, then you can follow the links from our events page on the AOP website.